Welcome back for another one, guys. Should probably close this door too. All right, so uh, today we're working on the 190E. So uh, if you are not subscribed, feel free to subscribe. Um, I would appreciate it. And if you're already if you're already subscribed, you're awesome. Um, today we're working on the 190E. Kind of in the garage, like mid midway, 240s out there, just catching some vitamin D, I guess. Um, Finally, the part came in. Uh, I don't know if it's actually gonna work or not, but we got a steering wheel hub. So uh, let's look at um, situation right now. Oh, apparently we wanna be really dark, okay. Well, this is seat, well, seat's not all the way back, but it could go back a little bit more, but then it's kind of like, I can't reach the steering wheel, but um, with my leg against the center console, I have just enough room to put my hand there. Um, and like I said, if I go back anymore, then I won't be able to reach the steering wheel. Like right now, full with my head against the headrest, fingertips are on the steering wheel, which I obviously isn't um, an issue because if you just lean forward a little bit, you could uh, get the full hand on it. But it is what it is. Uh, gonna change the steering wheel, um, and to make it easy, got that one right there. Uh, main thing I think uh, I have to do is figure out. Oh God, don't fall. Uh, we're gonna have to figure out uh, how to take that steering wheel off. I, I was feeling around, there's like two like holes on each side. Hope uh, maybe it's just an Allen key or screwdriver or something. Um, then hopefully that comes off and it's usually just a bolt holding the whole steering wheel on. Change over the hub with the, the Momo steering wheel. Um, no quick release, you don't really need a quick release. So uh, just gonna throw that on for now. And then eventually maybe we'll get like a wood grain steering wheel or something, just putting this on to see um, how it works out, I guess. Kind of like Jim, my head under there, you wouldn't really be able to see it. Uh, it looks like there's a Torx bit in there. Uh, hopefully I have the right size. If I don't, then uh, project over. So uh, I don't know where I left off. Memory card got effed up. Um, gonna disconnect the battery. There is a airbag in the steering wheel, so uh, let's disconnect the battery first, then we're gonna go work on uh, getting the, the whole steering wheel off. Uh, I'll take you guys in for that. Um, it was uh, confirmed in a second. Let's take a battery. All right, so this is what we're working with here. Uh, I'm gonna try to take these out one at a time. That's off. Um, I don't know what else this is going to be connected to, but there's a 10 millimeter Allen key um, in here. So we're going to try to get the steering wheel to. Oh, don't need that yet. Not spin on us. Shit. Got a longer one for more leverage here. There we go. Oh, that almost went in no man's land. And then obviously you want to keep the steering wheel as straight as possible uh, when you do this. Oh. Okay, never mind then. That was pretty damn easy. Just gotta see about um, what the inner workings are to make this horn work. Might not need much. Might be fine. This is what we're working with. This is the Momo um, steering wheel bracket thing. Uh, Momo steering wheel. Um, and now that I'm looking at it, I'm realizing that I don't have hardware for this. Might have to rob one or two off my car. Orientation, there's one hole straight up. So that's what we're gonna kind of go for is one hole straight up. Um, if it's way off, we could always take this back off. Um, should have looked at the hardware first before I bolted this in, but uh, let me go see if I got hardware first. All right, so uh, I forgot to look in the box. Hardware in the box, we're good. Uh, these two wires right here, we're just gonna have to hook them on the horn thing here. So one goes on the horn, one goes on this ring. Oh, and there's this, this boot. The boot on.
probably uh, should check the horn before I um, tighten all these down. Hold on. Got to put the battery back. All right, horn test. No good. All right, there is a possibility that the horn only works if the ignition is on. So uh, let's do this again. I will be right back. And we're on. Let's see. Once again, I didn't check it, so. No good. Good thing I tightened it down. Some of this ring. The ring's no good. Um, yeah, so I probably should have measured uh, old steering wheel. A lot of things massively and very heavy. Old steering wheel with new steering wheel, but it's probably sticking out about the same. That's why this Momo um, steering wheel hub thing is, looks like it's pretty long, but uh, I didn't move the seat at all. So let's see. Got more than enough space now. So, I mean, like I was saying earlier, I might wind up trying to get like a wood grain one just to fit with like the wood grain interior a little bit better, but right now, pretty cool. This was like a free, well, other than the hub, the hub was like, I don't even remember how much the hub was, but other than that, steering wheel, I already had all this stuff, so not even bad. So, uh, not a bad uh, mod, probably took, um, with me taking the steering wheel on and off, probably took about a half hour, it really, really quick. Um, not too bad, and uh, yeah, transforms the interior a little bit. Uh, we'll probably go for a drive, and just to make sure that the steering wheel is still straight. Um, I definitely didn't check that, but I tried to line it up as best as I can. Um, even if it's not straight, it should be one, two, three to take it off and turn it either way a little bit, but super simple mod, and uh, yeah. I want to thank you guys for joining me on this uh, on this quick one. Uh, on this quick one, I've installed a new steering wheel in the 190E. Uh, there is a suspension on the way for it, and we do have wheels and tires in the corner over there, so it should transform the entire car, the entire look of the car. Um, the whole, all those great plastics around the bottom edge of it will probably wind up painting the black at some point. Um, I'd rather do it sooner than later, but uh, that's on the agenda too. So thanks for joining me. Uh, subscribe if you want one. Uh, if you're interested in the 190E content, uh, I do have 40SX over there if you're only joining for this video. Um, big turbo and fully built and all that good stuff. Plenty of videos of that. Uh, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Hit the subscribe button, hit that comment button, and say stuff, and like, and alert bell, and all that good stuff, and hero stuff.